It's a sunny spring day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Hey everyone, it's Herb from World of Walt. Welcome to yet another Saturday Live broadcast. Today it is about 73 degrees, going to get up to close to 90. It's going to be a warm day. Spring has definitely sprung here in Orlando, as have the springtime crowds. Wayne from Long Island, hello to you. Got 48 days to go before your Disney trip. Hope that you're having a good Saturday. And Dee, good morning to you. Welcome to the live broadcast. So we got uh, plenty of people streaming in here to Disney's Animal Kingdom and all the Disney parks are busy because of spring break time. A lot of people are enjoying their vacations here. John, sir, good morning to you. Good to see you. And Natalie from the UK, welcome. Valerie, hello to you as well. So uh, check some wait times for the attractions here around Disney's Animal Kingdom. And they were up there, plenty of people out today. But it is a beautiful day to be here. Bobby, hello to you and Ann, good morning. Welcome to another Saturday stroll around Disney's Animal Kingdom. Phyllis, good morning to you, says looks like a pretty day. It is a pretty day, the sun is out. Feels warm, not too hot, at least not yet. We're gonna have upper 80s today. Clear skies, the uh, humidity is not up too much. So a good day to be out and about here at Disney. Emily from Tennessee, hello to you, says excited to watch today. Good to have you here, thanks for being a part of the live broadcast. Jeffrey's got just about a year to go before his next visit. Chip, hello to you in Kentucky, hope you are doing well in the Bluegrass State. Craig says, how about an early plug for the Pin of the Month Club? Craig, thank you. You win the award. My appreciation for prompting the very first plug for the Pin of the Month Club. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every single month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. Emmy, hello to you. I hope that you have a good day babysitting. Hector is here. Hello, Hector. Linda from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada where it's cold and rainy. Happy to give you the antidote for that. It's the tree of life in front of a crystal blue sky. Tony from Missouri, hello to you. Ted, hello, welcome to the live broadcast. Joey's here and Angela as well, cold and rainy Chicago. People are streaming in to start their day here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's fun to look at the carvings on the Tree of Life, such great detail. So typically I hang a left so we can see what's going on in Pandora first. But I think what I'm going to do is hang a right. We're instead going to go check out what's happening in Dino Land USA. I'm going to stroll past Asia, make our way through Africa, and then over to Pandora. Just for fun, let's take a moment step into gift shop see what Disney has to offer it's always kind of fun checking out the offerings here some very animal kingdom specific items this is kind of cool looks like a little I don't know dish for maybe catching your jewelry and such some mugs with the carvings from the tree of life on them love the detail here's a cool photo frame Nice stuff. Oh, check out these mugs. There's a Russell mug, complete with all of his earned badges. There's a Beast mug. I like the look on his face. I think he needs some more coffee. Ariel, very cool. Amanda says, loves Animal Kingdom. Amanda, thanks for being here. And we have a child mug. Just keep sipping. And for those of you who are morning people, a joy mug as well. For those of you who are French people, bonjour. Denise said, any information on park hopping? So to the best of my knowledge, uh, park hopping is still available as long as there is room after 2 p.m. Uh, you have to check in at the park where you made your reservation and then afterwards you can hop. Uh, if anyone's heard differently, let me know. 
Goofy, looking a little laid back. Chip and Dale, up to their normal antics, no doubt. All right, so let's continue on a little quick tour here. Becky says, hoping to do the safari. Becky, I did check out the wait time. If I remember right, it was like 70 minutes or something like that when I looked. So what I have to do is actually plan to leave early and get in line and do uh, an attraction. It's a little hard to know the timing of such things. But yeah, one of these days I'm going to do that so we can actually get back on an attraction. I would love to get back on Rise of the Resistance at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Princess Leia, I love you. And Hans responds, I know. Misty said, just returned from Disney last week, already missing it. Kathy said, is the Yeti really fixed? Not to the best of my knowledge. I don't think so. Um, Expedition Everest was undergoing a refurbishment, relatively short. Uh, and my guess is that the Yeti is not, not getting the attention that he deserves. But it's still fun to see him, even when he's in disco mode. Sabrina, good morning to you. Good to see you here on the live broadcast. This is interesting. It's like maybe a sign for this color scheme of merchandise here, sort of pinks and oranges. Dwell well, be well. Very cool. Karen said, shares get heard more events. Karen, thank you for that. Uh, thanks to everyone who likes the page, watches on the broadcast, gives me a thumbs up and shares. All of those things are very helpful to me and a great encouragement. And it's because you're here, because you do that, that I sometimes get invitations from the nice folks at Disney Media Relations to check out the events and share them with you, uh, which is a personal thrill for me. So thank you for being here because it's your activity here that makes that happen. So thank you. Love the artwork in the stores here, especially at Disney's Animal Kingdom. So interesting to take a second to look up, check out the tapestries, the carvings on the columns. Great detail. And he's, excuse me, Emily says, loves the Leah and Hans shirts. They are very cool. Mick asks if Expedition Everest is a lightning lane attraction. Uh, I think so. You know, Disney recently did some shuffling on the list of lightning lane attractions, but I believe here it may be, uh, certainly with Flight of Passage as well. Karen says, can't wait to do Rise of the Resistance again. Me too, it's been too long since I've been there and I'm probably just gonna have to invest an hour of my life waiting in line so that I can do it because uh, it's something I really enjoy. Susan, hello to you. Nice to see you. Jackie said something wrong with the visual keeps looping. Uh, so I would suggest that if that happens, jump out, jump back in. Sorry about that. Sometimes the technology does not cooperate very well. Someone uh, asking, I believe, about the keyword today for World of Womp Fun. Haven't said that yet, but now is as good a time as any. Oh, but I have to see Kevin first. Kevin is out. Which is very fun. It's cool. So, if you haven't heard, World of Wealth Fun is a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. Every week I give away prizes. Um, this week I'm going to be giving away a limited edition trading pin as well as a shirt from the World of Wealth shop. A shirt or a hoodie, actually, your choice. And it's easy to play. Today you can win points just for watching this video. And if you haven't signed up yet, the same process will get you signed up. So what do you have to do? Simply text the word SPRING to 407-606-6780. Again, text the word SPRING. That's a normal text message, not a messenger message. 407-606-6780. And you will claim some points just for watching this video. Again, World of Alt Fun, a game where you can win points. Entries into weekly prize drawings. Thanks to everyone who's been playing. It's been a lot of fun. I uh, really enjoyed putting it together. Amy's saying hello to Kevin. Always good to see her. Jeffrey loves Kevin as well. Lots of Kevin fans, that's cool. All right.
I, we continue our tour. Marietta says, loves Disney's Animal Kingdom. Bruce says, a beautiful day. That it is. It is a very pretty day here. Temperature right now is just about perfect. Uh, let's hang a right just for fun. Check out Restaurantosaurus. Deborah from New York, how are you? Good to see you. Debbie shared twice. Debbie, thank you. Thank you. I just did two thank yous there. Patty's gonna get 52 degrees in Minnesota. That sounds like spring has arrived. That's great. John says, loves me some World of Walt fun. John, thank you so much. Susan, thanks for playing the game. Thanks to everyone who's played. Really have enjoyed putting that together for you. Uh, lots of people are racking up points. The more points you get, the better your chance of winning. <laughs> Sorry, I missed the name. Someone says, uh, are there prizes in addition to the gift of the stream? Yes, that is right. Thank you for the nice comment. It is uh, always fun for me to share these live broadcasts with you. I uh, really enjoy having everyone here. Thank you for being a part of it. So, Primeval World, I miss you. Now it's just a straight shot to the trees in the back. That area has been cleared. No news yet on what we might get or when here in Dino Land, USA. Shirley asked if I've ever been a Disney employee. No, I have not, actually. Uh, I do know several, but have never been one myself. I've never been a cast member. That may be something I do in retirement. We'll see. Bobby says, dwell well, be well. Everybody loves it. That is kind of fun. I've never heard that saying before. Jennifer got her points for playing World of Walt Fun. Jennifer, thank you for that. Kim got some points, too. That's great. Thanks for being a part of the game. It's been a lot of fun putting it together. Again, World of Walt Fun, where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. I am giving away everything from pins, shirts, merchandise, gift cards. Uh, one of these days, I'm going to be giving away some Disney Park admission. So if you haven't joined, uh, you might want to do so. And you can get some points just for watching today. How do you do that, you might ask? Just text the word SPRING. That's a text message, not a messenger message. 407-606-6780. Again, just text the word SPRING, 407 606-6780 and you will get some points just for watching today and if you haven't signed up that same process will get you hooked up Linda says looks like a beautiful day here it is a beautiful day here very nice Karen said would love to be wandering around Animal Kingdom today got some kids up here playing a game very fun Bruce good morning to you James says thanks for the points Topher said, what would my retirement cast member job be? Mm. Topher, good question. I don't know. I'd have to think about that. I do know a guy who was a chiropractor, retired, and uh, I think he wanted to drive the ferry boat between the Ticket and Transportation Center and the Magic Kingdom, if I remember right, and he got the job and then probably went back to being a chiropractor. Uh, but he got to fulfill that dream for a while, which is kind of cool. I don't know. I'd have to think. I would have to think about it. I might want to be the mayor of Main Street USL, although I'm not sure that's actually a job anymore uh, post-pandemic. But I always think that the streetmosphere characters in the Magic Kingdom were a lot of fun. Susan got five points today. Susan, that is awesome. Debbie says, loves the game. Debbie, thanks for playing. Morgan also loves the game. That is great. So happy to hear everyone is enjoying it. It's been a lot of fun putting it together. Got some people racking up points, which is great. Robert says, he really does send the gifts. Thank you, Robert. I sure do. Uh, actually, if you ever want to see a list of winners, you can always head over to worldofwalt.com worldofwalt slash winners. Jane would be a popcorn popper. Heather loves the game. Yeah, I'd love to hear if, if you had a job here at Walt Disney World, what job would you want to have? Would you want to be in attractions? Would you want to be in merchandise? Would you like to be a performer? Fill me in. Let me know if you could have your pick of a job here, what would it be? Susan, 14 days to go. Becky's enjoying the stroll. Becky, thank you for that. Danny says, a lovely day. That it is. Ellen got five points. This corner of the park here in Asia is a little bit quieter than usual because Expedition Everest is not operating. So it is quiet. 
Angel, good morning to you. Says loves the videos. Thanks for being here. HR says a cool job would be a driver of a cavalcade. That would be a great job. Dawn's got her points. Dawn, thanks for playing. Pam's got 60 days to go. Richard would be a performer. Tony says loves the World of Walt t-shirts. Tony, thank you so much. Thanks to everyone who has purchased shirts over at worldofwaltstore.com. And a lot of fun putting them together for you. And I appreciate your support. Uh, it's your ideas here on the broadcast that I actually kicked off that shirt store. And it's your ideas here that drive the designs. Patricia said we'd love to work at the Haunted Mansion. Oh, that's great. Haunted Mansion would be a great place to work. I love how the uh, cast members are often really into the story there. Adrian said we'd be a street sweeper in any of the parks. You know, I, I kind of thought about that as well, just getting a chance to walk around and talk with guests for, during the day and keeping things neat and tidy, which I'm always into. Eric, good morning to you. Beautiful day. Six days to go. PJ would do almost anything. Dream is to work at Disneyland. Emily says Haunted Mansion maid or photo pass photographer. Barbara would be Cinderella's fairy godmother. That, that's a good one right there. Barbara would work on the streets in Main Street, USA. Deanna says boyfriend wants to drive the monorail. Driving the monorail would be a lot of fun. Good thing is you can't really make too many wrong turns. I guess you could, but that's it's not, uh, not something that happens too often. Ryan would work on the parades and cavalcades. Dan said, joined late. How do you get the points for this morning? Happy to share with you how to do that. So, uh, World of Walt Game is a, or excuse me, World of Walt Fun is a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. You can get some points right now just for watching this video. And if you haven't signed up yet, the same process will get you signed up. All you have to do is text the word SPRING to 407-606-6780. Again, text the word SPRING, 407-606-6780 and you will claim your points for watching this video and those points will get added to your World of Vault Fun Game account. Every week I'm giving away a prize, everything from limited edition pins, shirts, gift cards, merchandise. I'm gonna be giving away a uh, park admission coming up here. So again, just text the word SPRING 407-606-6780. George wants to be the goofy character. I knew someone once who was a, they call it the friend of a character. Uh, she actually played Mickey Mouse. It was interesting to hear her stories. She had some good stories. <gasps> hey, I think we've got some characters coming by on the boat. Tanya got five points. Tanya, that's great. Joel would like to operate the train. Diana said granddaughter played Cinderella. That's a cool job right there. Yeah, having a job just giving people hugs all day and making them happy. I think that sounds pretty good. Although if you're outside and in a very warm costume, maybe not as much, uh, yeah, maybe not as much fun. Hurston, hello to you. Beverly says, uh, Goofy's a favorite. That's been fun. That was a fun question. Topher, thank you for asking. Thanks for everyone who's sharing what they would do if they could be a cast member here. Mitchell said, uh, dream job is to help people who get lost. Uh, that is probably more than a full-time job and a great way to help others here make their day better. There are lots of people who, yeah, need some help figuring their way around. <laughs> HR is only five foot two, so maybe Chewy's handler. Yeah, there are some height restrictions in some of those jobs. Holly says, heard it's been busy, but doesn't look too bad today. Uh, part of the deal is that we are in this uh, top right corner in the Asia section. The Expedition Everest is down, so not a lot of people coming over here. They could come to Collie River Rapids. I don't know, people might not want to get wet so early in the morning. But this corner of the park is a little quiet. I think as we make it over to Pandora, we are going to see the crowd levels skyrocket. Marcia said, do they normally have kayaking? Kayaking. Uh, hmm, you might be able to do something like that over at Fort Wilderness. That's the place I could think. Lynn said, would be a sweeper anywhere. 
Vicky texted, maybe it's gonna update soon. Sometimes there is a bit of a delay uh, from when you send the text to when you get it. It's the joy of technology right there. Robert said, only the parents get lost. This is true. Kids don't get lost, parents do it here at Disney. Jordan says, am I off to Yak and Yeti? No, but that sounds really good. Um, it's over here on the right. I have eaten at Yak and Yeti before, and it's got some good stuff there. Very good stuff. Bonnie, hello to you in rainy Indiana. And Chris, good morning. Thanks for being here. So big news this week on the Disney front. Disney has announced uh, a couple things. One is that the Spirit of Aloha dinner show is not coming back to Disney's Polynesian Village Resort, which is kind of sad. That's something that's been around for a long time. It was a fun show. I've had an opportunity to check it out. Uh, food was very good. Entertainment was very good. Uh, but it is now formally and officially retired uh, because Disney has announced a new Disney Vacation Club property. A high-rise tower is going to be showing up at the Poly. Supposed to open up in 2024, which seems like they've got they got some work to do. That's only a couple of years away, and building a huge project like that takes some time. Concept was real. Concept art was released. If you haven't seen it yet, you can check it out over at worldofwalt.com. Chris is asking for the special word to claim the points. Chris, I can share that with you. World of Walt fun today. Text the word SPRING to 407 606 6780. Again, World of Walt Fun, a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. And today you can get some points just for watching. Text the word SPRING to 407 606 6780. Steph is saying Tron testing is going on, yes. So I have seen that the push pull test is starting for the Tron coaster ride vehicles. Um, Push-pull test is one of the earliest testing processes after construction of a track is complete, where they take a ride vehicle and just kind of roll it on the track to make sure that it's, it does what it needs to do. Tammy got five points for playing the game. Tammy, it's great. Thanks for being a part of it. All right, we continue our tour. You can see now that we're getting away from Asia, well, things are pretty quiet and headed into Africa, a little more activity. Got some more folks coming in here. Someone, sorry I missed the name, said they would want to work inside in the AC and out of the rain. Uh, you know, I, I was thinking about that as well. My skin is very fair, I sunburn easily, so I probably would not want to have a job where I work outside I like being a sweep, even though I think being a sweep would be kind of fun when the weather's good. But yeah, I probably need something that's indoors. Jane, hello to you. Brian says, can't wait. Sherry said, where are we headed today? Sherry, we're just kind of going on a stroll. We are just taking a little tour here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Check out what's going on. We'll see some ride wait times. We'll check out some crowd levels. A few minutes ago when we were in the Asia section of the park near Expedition Everest, it was very quiet because that attraction is shut down. Now, a little more a little more people. Beryl says, thanks for the tour. Makes Saturday morning. Beryl, always nice to see you here. Thanks for joining. Sharon's got 30 days to go. Brandon says, am I married or have kids? Yes to both. One daughter in college. Pam says, niece works at Philhart Magic. Would love that job. Oh, that would be a good one. So that's primarily indoors. I guess sometimes you might have to stand outside the attraction. Uh, yeah, feel her magic. I, I kind of think that having a job where you could give a spiel would be sort of fun. I imagine after a while, you know the spiel by heart, maybe it becomes a little rote, but just having a chance to perform in that way, I think would be kind of fun. Larry loves the strollers. The new designs are a lot of fun, very cool. You know, it's not open right now because it's not a meal time, but just for fun, I'm going to wander in here into the Harambe market, take a look at some of the design and the style, enjoy the music and the atmosphere. Harambe market, enjoy sausage, grilled items, ribs and such, and beverages. Paula's going to be here on Monday. Paula, that's great. 
people just hanging out here enjoying their morning. Emily says the internet is spotty today. Yeah, Emily, thanks for that. Sometimes technology just does not, does not cooperate. I love all the details that Disney adds, like these signs. Here's one for the plumber. The plumber's not available. Call her sister. Fishing tours. Half day at sea from 7 to 1. Can't be extended to 4. Offering our catch down near the beach most weekdays. Disco, disco. The One Love concerts presented by three stars at the Civic Club. And here we have a journey of a lifetime. When it comes to safaris, we go wild. All these little details are awesome. Uh, here's a great one right here. Okay, kids, do you recognize these pieces of technology from the electronics shop? Can you actually name what these are? Amanda said I should be a personal tour guide. Amanda, that would be a lot of fun. I'm not sure that the folks at Disney would like me doing that because that's a service they offer, but it would be kind of fun. I guess I could be a volunteer tour guide. Denise says Animal Kingdom was worse for the internet. Deborah, hello to you. Says thanks for sharing and loves the game. Thank you for that. Thanks for playing along for a little while fun. Becky said, would love to work at the DVC kiosk. Now that's a good job, actually, because uh, you get to help people make a purchase for future family vacations. Uh, I don't know how well they get compensated, but I would guess better than the typical average cast member because they're real estate agents, basically. So that's a, that's a really good one. Mary Lou says, the ribs in Harambe are a favorite. Cynthia loves the journey. I'll continue on. I'm interested in seeing what the wait time looks like for the safari now. Linda said, in the game now to get some points. All right, Linda, thanks for joining. Thanks to everyone who's been joining World of Wall Fun, a game where you can win points for entries in the weekly prize drawings. To join, all you have to do is text the word SPRING, 407-606-6780. Again, text the word SPRING to 407 606 6780. You can get some points just for watching today. And if you haven't signed up, that process will get you hooked up. World of Walt Fun, win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. I think I've gotten into a stroller, stroller jail here. I'm going to figure out how to get around this. Courtney says, never occurred to get some pictures of the signs. Yeah, like a lot of the details in the signs that are added for atmosphere reasons are a lot of fun. Tony says, likes hearing the, uh, the music. That's very cool. Jeff says, thanks for another wonderful Saturday. Jeff, it is my pleasure. Thanks for spending a little bit of time with me here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. It's fun just to check out the crowds, check out what's going on here. Uh, I think I can cut through here. Ooh, point on the cotton. It smells good. Shit smells very good. Ella says, is it spring break time? It is. I know that uh, there are areas in the U.S. and Canada where it is spring break. And we can see it here at Disney. Standby wait time for Kilimanjaro Safari. It's a little hard to see from here, but... 70 minutes. That's a good long time. Ted says, how can he get a little bit of Disney fun into his mailbox every month? Ted, I'm so glad that you asked. And because you asked, you win the prize. The prize today is my appreciation. If you'd like to get a little bit of Disney fun delivered in your home every month, check out pinofthemonthclub.com. And Barbara's asking the same question about pinofthemonthclub.com. Okay, the line extends for Kilimanjaro Safaris way out here. That is a good long line. Bruce said his sister created signage for Disney a couple years ago. Wow, that's cool. 
George is saying, is it time for a pineapple dole whip? George, that sounds good today. It would be a good day for that. Puffy said the corn of the cob is amazing, so I went over to the Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival and uh, had some corn there near the Imagination Pavilion. It was good. Joseph, hello to you. Carol from New York going to be eating a Yak and Yeti. Jody says, I bet the wait time is actually longer than 70 minutes. I don't know that I have ever or often seen the line for a Kilimanjaro Safari stretching out that far. That is one good long line. Poaching alert. Please report any evidence of poaching. Oh, here's another disco sign. I guess it would make sense that the same sign would appear in multiple places because that's what happens in the real world too. Amanda says, loves the little shows. Very encouraging that so much of the live entertainment has come back. Just those little moments throughout the day where you can take just a minute or two to enjoy a, a live entertainment performance, very cool. A lot of the flowers are in bloom here. It looks wonderful. Hey, Ron. Late. Better late than never. Ron, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Some people are responding with spring, which I think means folks are asking, what is the word to claim points for watching today's video? You can claim some points in World of Alt Fun, which is a new game. Well, it's not so new anymore. It's a game. Or you can win points for entries in the weekly prize drawings. The more points you've got, the more opportunities you have to win. Every week, I'm giving away prizes, things that include limited edition trading pins, gift cards, merchandise, shirts. I'm going to be giving away some admission tickets coming up here. If you'd like to claim your points just for watching today, just text the word SPRING, 407-606-6780. Again, text the word SPRING to 407-606-6780. You claim your points. If you haven't signed up for World of Walt Fun yet, that will get you hooked up. A celebration of the Festival of Lion King. Got some people headed in to watch the show. Gwen said the red bushes are beautiful. That they are. All right, the Harambe House Club 33 location up here on the right have not been in it, as most of the general public has not. If you happen to know a Club 33 member, set it my way. Love to have an opportunity to check it out. Actually, I think the photography is prohibited even for club members. But it would be great to see with my own eyes. Kimberly says the crowds have thinned. This walkway that connects Africa to Pandora is usually a little more subdued, uh, unless the line for either fest celebration of the Festival of the Lion King or Flight of Passage heads back this way. But usually it's a little bit of a respite, it's nice. Petunia is saying, are there any new t-shirt designs? Uh, not this week, I am actually working on one. I've got an idea, uh, artist came up with something, it just wasn't quite what I was hoping for, so I need to get some revisions, but that is in process. Thanks to everyone who has purchased shirts over at worldofaltstore.com. It's been great fun. Thanks for all the ideas as well. Robert says, loves the broadcast. Robert, thank you so much. Appreciate your being here. Debbie, hello to you, welcome. All right, let's 
boardwalk is actually very peaceful. One of my favorite spots at Disney's Animal Kingdom. Oh, you know what? We got some characters that are going by. We get a chance to see him. It looks like Rafiki. And Timon. Petunia said a nice stroll. Gwen says very calming. Cindy, hello to you. Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Bob and Rita, hello to you. <laughs> Chris says when he grows up, he wants to be Herb. That is very nice of you to say. Looks like they're having fun. Debbie said I got my exercise in. That I am. Don't know if I'm getting all 10,000 steps in or whatever you're supposed to do, but I'm getting some in, that's for sure. Wayne said, any word on being able to send packages back to your resort? I've not heard about that yet. Um, I just heard that some of the Disney resorts are restoring relatively full housekeeping service. So things are slowly getting back to normal. Denise says, Animal Kingdom is probably her second favorite park. So I'd love to hear, what is your favorite park? Uh, are you a Kingdom fan? Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Magic Kingdom? If you had to pick one as a favorite, what would you pick? I know that's kind of a hard question. It's like, who's your favorite child? But come on, you know you have a favorite child. And you probably have a favorite park. So let me know, which park is your favorite? Sandy, hello to you. Jane says, loves Animal Kingdom. Best of all, Disney rolled into one park. Uh, there is a lot of good to be said about Disney's Animal Kingdom. Very unique design, has not been replicated elsewhere. You've got live animals, you've got great details, you've got some extraordinary attractions and great shows. Linda said, waiting in the safari line, watching the video. Oh, Linda, hope you're having a good day. Brett's got 41 days to go. <laughs> Donald's legs are not tired. I'm taking that for you, man. Alan says, want to see the haunted hotel? Denise is a man, a kingdom fan. Christine is an Epcot fan. Kathy, hello to you. Sue says, Epcot is a favorite. Iona Hollywood Studios is a favorite. Awesome. Okay, Bruce, I'm probably with you. All of them are a favorite. Inger says, you got to go with the original, the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, if you had to pick just one, that's probably the one I would pick. I am a Magic Kingdom fan. It is classic. But I would say number two would probably be Hollywood Studios. Um, I've always just loved that 30s and 40s architecture and feel. The music of that time, uh, the neon at night. I think uh, those are some, that's a great attraction. Or excuse me, a great park. So love, love the park. Uh, So go down by the shop. I would wait down by the shop. Yeah. Okay. And so then, just go um, to the right. Yeah, for the right. Okay. So go this way. Patty says, can't pick a favorite. All right. Picking favorite restaurants is just as hard as picking favorite parks. But up here, Centuria Canteen, definitely a favorite. Just love the smell where they're grilling the meats. It's kind of like the Disney World version of Chipotle, wrapped in a Pandora style. Donna says, can't say which park is favorite because the other park might hear. <laughs> so I'm always afraid, yeah. You might, you might offend Epcot if you're saying that it's not number one. Becky's favorite is Animal Kingdom. All right, we continue our stroll around Disney's Animal Kingdom on a sunny Saturday, beautiful day. Melissa says, Epcot with the manatees. Manatees in the Living Seas with Nemo and friends. Always fun to see. Mary Lou asked if the Finding Nemo show has resumed. No, it has not. Uh, Disney's announced they're going to be making an update to the show. Uh, but it will be coming back. It's just not back yet. Joy, Epcot, then Animal Kingdom.
Tammy says, be our guest at the favorite restaurant. Love the feel of that one. All right, let's see what the standby wait time looks like. Yeah, that's a good long time, 170 minutes. So, almost three hours. Barrel's a Magic Kingdom fan. Kathy as well. Three hours. Someone was a California Grill fan. Me too. I've been there before. That place is amazing. Linda, hello to you. What favorite park is whichever one she gets to be in. I get you on that. Judy's a Magic Kingdom fan with a view of the castle. Walking right down the middle of Main Street, USA to start your day with a castle in the background. Great way to spend a Disney day, for sure. Al, hello to you from Atlanta. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here on the live broadcast. Anne Marie says, loves Pandora at night. It's really one of those lands where uh, you need to see it both day and night because it is so different at both those times. This is a great spot right here for the waterfall. A lot of the Andorian foliage. Jeff says, going to Hollywood Studios in April for the first time since the upgrades. Jeff, that's great. I hope you get a chance to experience all that the park has to offer, especially Rise of the Resistance, even if you're not a Star Wars fan, and I hope you are. Rise of the Resistance, amazing, has reset the bar for themed entertainment. Hope you get a chance to check it out. Navi River Journey, 80 minutes. Although the line isn't stretching out as far as I thought it might be. Gina says they're all favorite. Jody says Pandora is cool at night. Charles, hello to you. <laughs> Shirley said with all the crowds, they need a fifth park. Maybe one of these days we will get a fifth park. I don't think that's going to happen for a while, especially given the past few years, but it would be great. I can foresee Disney continuing to add attractions to the existing parks, taking advantage of the infrastructure that they've built up. Peggy's a fan of La Cellier and the Yachtsman, both very nice choices. Yep, Ron said picking a favorite park is like picking a favorite child. Can't do it. I totally get it. Kevin said flying fish is a good one. Becky's a Pandora fan. All right, we continue our stroll around Disney's Animal Kingdom on a beautiful spring day. Mid-70s, gonna get up to the upper 80s. Might even be flirting with 90 degrees here in Central Florida. It's a little sticky and humid, but not too bad yet. That's coming though. Kimberly's gonna vote for a fifth park. So, World of Wealth Fun is a game where you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. Every week I'm giving away prizes, things like limited edition trading pins, giving away gift cards and giving away shirts and giving away merchandise, giving away park admission, and you can win some points so you can be a part of that weekly prize drawing. You can get some points just for watching today. All you have to do is send a text with the word SPRING to 407-606-6780. Again, text the word SPRING to 407-606-6780. And you'll win some points just for watching today. Plus, if you haven't signed up yet for World of Walt Fun, that'll get you signed up. Barbie said Steakhouse 71. Yes, I had a chance to check that out, and it was amazing. If you like sort of traditional, formal, uh, 1970s-inspired steakhouses, that is a great place to go. Valerie's also voting for California Grill. Linda, hello to you. Debbie says, you might come for the 40th anniversary. Debbie, congratulations on approaching that milestone. That is an amazing accomplishment. Jody, here's some critter sounds. Me too. Karen says, Rise of the Resistance is a favorite adrenaline ride. It's my favorite too. Melissa's saying, well, how about a plug for the shirts? Melissa, thank you for that. I guess I don't have a little stock phrase to say for, hey, I got shirts. But you can always head over to worldofwealthstore.com and check out the selection. 
been building up over time. It's been a lot of fun. Thanks to everyone here for your ideas and for supporting World of Alt by purchasing shirts. Great encouragement to me. Ron says, haven't won a prize yet, but it's still fun. Jeff is saying, what would the theme be for a fifth park? Uh, good question. Some folks have talked about the concept of a villain's park. Uh, my take is that every villain needs a hero. If a villain is just on its own, his or her own, uh, it's just it's kind of mean or evil. There has to be that interplay between the hero and the villain. So over in Tokyo, they have Disneyland and Disney Sea. So I could foresee a sea-themed park or a uh, air-themed park or just a park. I don't know. It would be interesting to see. Susan said, favorite restaurant in Animal Kingdom? Oh, that's a tough one. So for quick service, I would have to say it's a split between Flame Tree Barbecue and Satuli Canteen, both of which are excellent. Sit down. Uh, Yak and Yeti, I really like. Yeah. Rand said, Boma and Sanaa are family favorites. It's been a while since I've been to Boma. I got to do that again. I need some zebra domes. Carla says, loves the villains. Karen says, never watched a Star Wars movie. Would you still enjoy the rides? I believe that you would. Yeah. So if you go over to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge at Disney's Hollywood Studios, um, even if you don't know anything about Star Wars characters and stories, I think you can still enjoy the atmosphere of Galaxy's Edge, um, as well as the two attractions. Rise of the Resistance is just fun on its own, and so is Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Uh, you don't have to have all the backstory on all the people who are involved. I think you'll still have a great time. Okay, so uh, last time you can win some points uh, in World Wealth Fun, a game where you get points for, or you can win points for entries into weekly prize drawings. You can get some points just for watching today. How do you do that, you might ask? Well, I can tell you. Just send a text with the word SPRING to 407-606-6780. Again, send a text with the word SPRING to 407-606-6780, and you'll win some points for an entry into weekly prize drawings where I'm giving away everything from pins, shirts, merchandise, tickets. If you haven't yet signed up, the same process will get you hooked up. Thanks to everyone who's been playing. And I think that's going to wrap it up for today. So thanks to everyone for joining me. Thank you for all of the likes and the shares. Um, it's a great way to get the word out. And it's because you do that, because you participate here, that sometimes I get the opportunities to do some special events with the nice folks at Disney Media Relations and share previews with you. So I appreciate your doing that. Thank you again for joining. It's always a blast sharing some Disney fun with you on Saturday mornings, usually at 10. And I wish you a wonderful weekend. And until next time, God bless.